You and I both know how indecisive I can be when it comes to making any decision in life. But there is one decision I made that I know for a fact was the right one. It was the night we met. <laughs> I gave you my phone number, added you on Facebook and Instagram, and I stole your hoodie. I am so glad you still wanted to talk to me after that. But on that night, you instantly became my best friend, and today I become your wife. I vow to be there for you no matter what, through thick and thin, when times get rough. I vow to make you happy as much as make you happy as much as you make me happy. I vow to never get mad at you when you make mistakes, like not closing the shower curtain after you shower, <laughs> um, not cleaning the produce before you eat it, or how sometimes you forget to refill my water when it's empty. <laughs> I'm committed to you and these vows because you are the love of my life and I truly feel you are my soulmate. <sighs> Watching how you are as a cat dad to Macy makes me so excited. For our future children, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> uh, Macy and I are both so lucky to have you in our lives. I can't wait to take on this world with you by my side as my husband. I love you. Ryan. The last nine years, six months, and 16 days, uh, but who's counting, have been the best memories of my life. You are the most understanding girlfriend and supportive fiance, and I know you will be a compassionate and generous wife. I have no doubt that you will be the most caring and hardworking mother for our children. I am also ready. <laughs> and a foundation for our family. I promise to always get you a glass of water before bed. <laughs> to always bring you home an ice cream after I have evening meetings, and to make sure that you have the most recent Sims expansion pack before I play Call of Duty. You look beautiful. <laughs> I know that life won't always be easy and that there'll be obstacles for us to overcome, but together we can handle anything. Now that we're finally joining our lives together to live out everything we've been planning for, it was worth the wait because I know we'll have the best marriage and I look forward to spending the rest of our days together. take Ryan to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you love her, protect her, and spend your days in laughter together forever? I do. Ryan, will you take Brendan to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you love him, protect him, and spend your days in laughter together forever? I do. These rings are a physical representation of the love and commitment that you two share, and perhaps as a daily reminder to that secret of life and how truly simple it is. And now, having entered into the covenant of marriage by exchanging of vows and the giving and receiving of rings, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now seal these vows with a kiss. <laughs> Brian is one of the most caring, compassionate, and hardworking people that I know. She's someone you can talk to for hours on end, and she's always willing to venture out on activities. One thing I am confident that will not change is the love that these two share for each other. I have had the privilege of witnessing them grow close from the very beginning of their relationship to where they are now, married. And let me tell you, they are truly meant for each other. May your love grow stronger over time. May you have many years together, and may you never forget why you fell in love. Cheers. <laughs> As the man that you've become and the friend that you are, the partner that you've been and the husband you'll become, and the relationship that you have and the marriage you'll build.
Now, I'm not married yet myself, so I cannot give you advice on marriage or the keys to a happy marriage. But what I can tell you is this. Don't forget to laugh together, to smile together, to listen to each other, and to apologize. But most of all, don't forget that you're in this together. Mom and I, the, 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 we cannot, everybody here in this room cannot wait to see what the future unfolds for you. I just can't wait to see what, how God's going to bless you guys, okay? But now in that future, in that future, you're going to have those days, okay? But on those days, I want you to remember this day, this time, this moment that everybody's here to celebrate the love that you two have found for each other, all right? Mom and I are so proud of the woman you are. <laughs> so proud. I want to propose a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Brendan May. Yeah.